What up, Transformer fans? This is Sean Long of the Transformers Matrix, being another Transformers Revenge of Fallen movie toy review. This time of the Transformers 2 Revenge of Fallen movie Voyager Stratosphere. So here we got Stratosphere, and I believe this is like a Boeing type plane, which is really nice. Uh, he has GRD 677. I don't know if that's supposed to mean anything. He has some orange tips over here. A really nice Autobot, almost like Elite Guard symbols on both ends of his wing. He also has Autobot symbols on the tail end of the wing, which is very nice. And this is a very cool plane mode, and this was in the movie. This is what uh, the plane that dropped off the Autobots in the Shanghai scene. Speaking of which, when you rotate Stratosphere's little uh, fins right here, you can see he uh, poops out Optimus Prime. Retain the wings will open up a little hatch and comes out a little mini prime. See he's a mini con size prime. He does have some pretty good detail for being so small. All six of his wheels roll and he has the windshields and pretty pretty nice. You can recreate that scene from the movie. Dun, dun, dun. Autobots I'm in pursuit. The transform Minicon Prime, what you want to do here is you want to pull the legs down here. Then you want to flip out his little feet right here. Then you want to take the arms on each side here and bring them uh, to the front. Then you want to flip out his little head. And there you got Minicon Prime in his robot mode. As you can see, this Prime has a beer gut. So this is Prime before he was on Weight Watchers. Uh, but pretty nice detail, has a pretty cool head sculpt, and his, ar his arms do go up and down, but that's the only articulation he has. How many Minicom Prime is? Look at him next to Legends Prime. Yeah, he's pretty small, he's only half the size. Raspier does have landing gear, which does go up and down, which is really cool. And then these little parts right here, you can open them up and reveal it's just one wheel, which is weird. you think these would all be wheels, but you only have... It's kind of landing gear. It's 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 a cool little feature. I guess. The transform stratosphere. What you want to do is take this part of the wing and bring this up like so. Bring this up. Oop, and then the, this legs will come on down. Like want to separate his legs here. These parts of the legs you want to bring this down, and you want to straighten them out for now. So bring this down and straighten it out. This part you want to fold back and then fold in, like uh, kind of like chicken legs, like um, with. Star scream so parts fold it out and fold it in like that. Here's a cool little automorph thing when you pull out his arms to the side of here, it goes, Oh, for the ladies, and this chest pops out, which is really cool. You bring the arms out and bring them out to the side, pop out his hands, push in the landing card here, and peekaboo, he sees you. There's his head. Take his body, and this hole right here will go into that tab. So, you want to fold this in, this will all fit in very nice. Then, on the back part of here, you can uh, bring the, the fins down like so and just keep them down or forward or however you like and then you can fold the wings uh, down again. And there you got Stratosphere in his robot mode. Really cool head sculpt. I really like the detail of orange in there. It's really nice and the, he has a cool robot chest, big old chest and really cool hands, the fingers and the feet. He has, definitely has Captain Boat shoes. Um, as Sean Cybertron X would call him. But really cool and I like how the wings are. Articulation Stratosphere's head can move left, right. Um, can't really rotate because of the way it's hindered. His arms do rotate 360 degrees, but they're hindered by the wing a little bit. They go in and out, rotate 360 degrees at the elbow, bend at the elbow. He has some cool mech alive gears when you bend his elbow, so that's really cool. His wrist can go in and out, and he has individual finger articulation with these three claws and his um, thumb. His legs can go forward and back, in and out, uh, bend at the knee here, and then it also bends at this point in the knee and bends at this point. So he has quite a bit of posability. Think about Stratosphere, if this is how scale he is with Prime, then he'd be like his biggest Devastator. Autobots, we have to destroy Devastator. Devastator, destroy. Not on my watch, bub. Holy crap, you're huge. Oh no, oh. Size comparison time. So here you can see Voyager Stratosphere. Uh, definitely in Voyager size is as big as Voyager Starscream and Human Alliance Bumblebee. And definitely bigger than Legends Devastator. And you can see the difference with him and his Minicon Prime. Now Stratosphere was in the movie, kind of. His plane mode was, but his robot mode wasn't. But if you like planes and you like a good, uh, fun transformer with good articulation and a fun transformation, then I would recommend this guy, especially after you've gone in all the movie characters. Definitely get them first, but I will recommend this guy. And the fact that he comes with a Minicon Prime that's in scale with him, that's a, 
That's really awesome. So I definitely recommend them. Hope you guys enjoyed my reviews. Stay tuned for more Transformer reviews as well as other toy reviews. Subscribe to my channel if you like. And this is Sean Long Run. <laughs>